The answer to the great monarch butterfly decline may lie in a farmer's field in Halton, Ontario. A two-year experiment involving a real-world laboratory found that the chemicals of what are most common pesticides seem to reduce the number of eggs that successfully hatch. The multi-university research team, including University of Guelph scientists, worked with a farmer to plant one half of a small crop with corn seed and the other half with corn that had been coated with a common neonic. This is a basic pesticide used around the world to keep harmful insects away. And milkweed was deliberately planted along with the corn to attract the monarchs. Take a look at the results. The orange is the pesticide eggs and you can see compared to the control, about 3% less survived. Doesn't sound like much, but when we're talking millions of monarchs, that's pretty significant. This kind of pesticide, neonic, means neurotoxic. They permanently bind to insects' nerve cells, overstimulating and destroying them, and they're widely applied to common crops. In 2018, Health Canada proposed to tightly restrict the use of neonics, including a ban on all outdoor applications. It has since decided against the ban, but has added new rules to protect bees and marine life. Take a listen to one of the authors I spoke to about what he's hoping to study will provide decision makers. We have to understand that there's a trade-off between using these agricultural techniques and how it influences monarch butterflies. So it presents us with a choice, uh, really, about the area that we might use for genetically modified crops versus uh, conventional crops. And ultimately, this is what we need uh, for governments to make decisions about how to conserve monarchs and how to ensure that we have uh, functioning agricultural systems uh, to provide the food that we need to eat. We're talking a massive decline in these butterflies, and pesticides seem to be a part of the problem, along with changes to habitat and climate change. Often, when people think about the monarch, they think about butterflies. Monarchs serve as a really important role, a connection for people to butterflies and to nature. And now, you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet, and I'll try to get it answered.